didn't know what happened yesterday. It was Mothra's 60th anniversary. And so, I was too lazy in that day, so basically I came to the review on the original Mothra. And not only that, it's because I also never saw the original. Yeah, great job, me. I never got to saw the original. But I did get to see the first two Reverse of Monster films. Not the third one yet. I still have to wait until I get the third one. But that costs money. And I don't want to buy the Blu-ray one since I already own one and two. And that's it. I don't want to... But... Actually, what am I even saying? Let's just get with the review on not ready. Alright. So today, we are going to review... Reverse the monster since I can't show you the original because I haven't seen it yet. We're gonna do Reverse the monster because why not? And plus, actually I don't know what else. And plus you might also notice that I'm gonna show you three videos for the, for like the monster scenes. Why? Because there is no like long scenes with the monster fights, so if you're wondering why the why there's like a couple of ads here and there, that's why. So let's just begin. All right, so this movie is basically about just mo just after like prop just not after like the Heisei's series in fact this is actually completely different from the AC series and it's about Mothra just de deciding that she's almost dying so just why not lay in like an egg but after that some dumb people decide hey let's lay let's wake up King Ghidorah again except he's just Ghidorah not King Ghidorah this time because why not and so may may have happens and stuff like that and and, and well Mothra dies in this film you have to explain verse for this some something old film for this twenty five year old film and plus and plus about the story let's go with the characters the characters uh, for me, they're kind of forgettable. Mm, not that very important. Okay, but what about the monsters? Um, well, Mothra is actually good, and Mothra Leo kind of feels like the spine source of Jurassic Park 3. You want to know why? Because it's like saying, hey, you remember this, Mothra? Yeah, the one that everyone likes and remembers? Well, hey, we're gonna kill her off. So, you better get like this new Mothra. Claim Mothra Leo, and you're gonna enjoy it throughout the entire trilogy. Like that. <sighs> but this Ghidorah is probably one of the best Ghidorahs. X to Legendary Ghidorah, no competition right there, better than any other Ghidorah, but not as best as Legendary Ghidorah, that will always be my favorite. <sighs> okay, but is there anything else good about this film? No, not really, this film is kind of bland to me. In fact, this movie doesn't feel like a film for me, it just feels more like a film for like female kaiju I do fans, which, since it's Mothra, it makes sense that it's not, m not my business to watch this movie. So, what I recommend it? Uh, kind of, but if you just want to start with the trilogy, okay, but the sequels do get better. In fact, I prefer the second one over, over the first one because I don't have, I haven't seen the third one yet, so... There you go. <laughs> well, this review has been short, so I'm gonna have to end this film uh, and test already. So, happy 60th anniversary, Monster, even though that was yesterday, and good night, every kaiju fan.